Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all the items that I picked up in the month of January, so stay tuned. So I thought January was going to be a pretty slow month, but I ended up finding a bunch of stuff that I wanted to buy. So I'm going to show you all the things that I got in the month of January. First up, I got Goosebumps 2, The Old Man, and The Gun. 2001 A Space Odyssey. Now I picked this one up because of the slipcover. I was unable to find a good deal on the 4K release so I'm still looking for that. I heard a lot of good things about Yellowstone Season 1 so I picked this one up to check it out. Boy Erased. I picked this one up. I saw this one in the theater and uh, purchased the Blu-ray today. Okay, there was a sale going on, I believe, at Target, where these were pretty cheap. I got Smallfoot, The Nun, 8th Grade. I picked up The Karate Kid Part 3 and The Next Karate Kid. I got this from Amazon. It's a new Mill Creek release. Had not heard anything really good about this release. Um, only good thing about it was it was a good price, and so I went ahead and part... I purchased that to add to my Karate Kid collection. I heard a lot of good things about the writer, um, a lot of good recommendations, so I paid um, top dollar for this one. Got it from Walmart.com. I haven't had a chance to see it yet, but I hear a lot of good things about it. Um, I picked up Hellfest, um, mid 90s, school days. The Secret of Kales. Um, I, I picked this one up because I do um, collect the animated movies, um, the Studio Kids movies. So I was happy to find this at Walmart with a slipcover. Um, Galveston. Suspiria. I did not see this playing in any of the theaters around me. I um, heard a little different things about it, so I'm looking forward to checking this one out. I do need to find the original and try to watch it first. Jonathan. Reign of the Superman Blu-ray release. And I also picked up the Target exclusive steelbook. Um, I picked up Hunter Killer. And this is the regular release. And I picked up, well this is the 4K Ultra HD release. And I picked up the Best Buy steelbook. And then I picked up, um, I got this from the Disney Movie Club. Actually, I got this from Target. It's the Ultra HD release with the slipcover. And then I got the Best Buy Steelbook release, which really looks nice. It's a 4K release. And then I got this one from the Disney Movie Club, just a regular release with a slipcover. Okay, I picked up Halloween, the remake, um, the continuation, I guess. I really enjoyed this one. Um, a lot of people had a lot of bad things to say about it, but I enjoyed it. So I got the regular 4K release with the slipcover. And of course I got the Best Buy exclusive still book. Looks really good. I picked up Metropolis still book from Best Buy. Hellboy 2 still book from Best Buy. The Sharknado collection still book from Best Buy. Um, didn't really care for the films very much. I only saw the first one, I think, when it was on TV. Haven't really caught any of the other ones, but I had to get the still book. And then I picked up Carlito's Way still book. Um, I got this one from FYE. It, it is an FYE exclusive, if I'm not misunderstanding. An FYE exclusive. And the same way with the Incredible Hulk um, still book from FYE. Really nice. Um, I paid $12.99 for this one in Carlito's Way. So if you would like to get that, it's still available online at FYE. Okay, I picked up the Hammer Collection release of Dracula, Prince of Darkness. Um, I picked this one up because of the slipcover and because of the collectible cards that it comes with. I got this one pretty cheap off of um, eBay. And um, from Shout Factory, I got the Collector's Edition. So the rest of these I'm going to show you here now are the Shout Factory releases. I got um, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey Steelbook, 
um, to continue with my collection. In Harm's Way is a Shock Factory release with a still um, with a slip cover. Elizabeth Harvest with a slip cover. The Jerk Collector's Edition. Good movie. Murder by Death. Um, I actually saw this when I was a child. I remember seeing it in the theaters. Really enjoyed it. So glad to have this one on Blu-ray. Um, Hang 'em High with Clint Eastwood. Um, Urban Legends Final Cut. I got um, Urban, Legend, Urban Legends the Collector's Edition last month. So I got the Final Cut one when the sale, when there was a sale. I think earlier this month. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, Shop Select release. When Harry Met Sally. Another one from the sale, Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. Starman. Um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation. Don't think I've ever seen that one before. Um, 10 to Midnight. Um, John Carpenter had a birthday um, back in January. And um, they were on the Shout Factory site had a sale so uh, I picked up Elvis <clears throat> uh, Memoirs of an Invisible Man and Someone's Watching Me I got those for the um, I got these for a pretty good price from Shout Factory because of the John Carpenter birthday sale then I also picked up the collector's edition of um, Cobra Obsession, Suburbia, and then for the Arrow release, I got Waterworld, and I picked up um, Crimson Peak. I really enjoyed this movie. I know a lot of people didn't like it, um, but I had to get this um, edition. There are two still books out there that I would really like to get. I think one was from the UK. And I'm not sure where the other one was from, but they look really nice. I'm watching eBay for those. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> one more thing I want to show you is the um, lenticular release that came out this past week. Um, these are um, these were released for the Lego 2 movie. And I picked this up, so I'm just going to link the video that I did. If you would like to see a close-up of all of these. I think there's eight titles total for that. So definitely check that out. Check that out if you're interested. Okay, so one other thing that I did in the month of January was go into Best Buy and Target and Walmart quite a bit. And while I was there, I did find some really good prices on some um, 4K releases. And I haven't really been purchasing very much 4K releases up until this month, and thought I was going to start um, up in my collection. So first up, I have Apollo 13. Black Klansman, How to Train Your Dragon Part 1 and Part 2, Blade Runner 2049, Gladiator, Braveheart, Oblivion, The Lego Batman Movie, The Lego Movie, Creed, Argo, The Town, The Big Lebowski, Lone Survivor, Get Out, Lucy, oh, and so those are all $14.99. I think I got all those for $14.99 each. Then the rest of these were either $19.99 up to $24.99, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Christine, Blade Runner, Air Force One, Saving Private Ryan, Fury, Deadpool 2, I believe this one was $28.99, if I'm not mistaken. Cliffhanger. Hook, 
Bad Times at the El Royale. I saw this in the theater, really enjoyed it. Um, so I got the 4K release of that. Too bad we didn't get a still book. Dunkirk. The Meg. Red Sparrow. John Wick. John Wick Chapter 2. Deepwater Horizon. Terminator 2 Judgment Day. The Great Gatsby. Everest. And First Man. So those are the 4K releases I got in the month of January. I am trying to find some other ones um, with some slip covers on it that I haven't been able to find. Forrest Gump. The Ghostbusters movies 1 and 2. And... Um, a few other ones, but either way, I'm going to continue trying to find those, especially if they have a slip cover. So hopefully, I'll be able to do that. But anyway, that was my pickups. All of those items were my pickups for the month of January. I know it was quite a bit. Spent more money than I really wanted to, um, but that's the way it is. But hopefully, you were able to get all the items that you wanted in January. Um, I know there was quite a bit of releases. So hopefully you got what you wanted. Please leave a comment below. Let me know which of these that you purchased, um, which of these that you um, like the best. You know, did you get any of the Shout Factory releases? Did you get any still books? Um, are you collecting 4Ks? Um, I would really like to read your comments below. So please leave a comment. If you like what you saw here, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you would like to, please share the video. Um, I really do appreciate um, the support on my channel. So thank you very much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. And if you do subscribe, remember to hit that notification bell. I do try to upload a video every week, sometimes more. So um, please do that if you would, if you wish to. Um, if you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I am on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Instagram. So you can always find me there. But I really do appreciate you watching, and we will see you next time.